Flavor family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby on the north side of Chicago at Trader Joe's because I thought it'd be cool to do a video all about the top 10 or so best grocery items at Trader Joe's. The thing is, Art and I are on a, a bad streak at Trader Joe's, right? Every time we filmed here recently, they kicked us out. So I thought instead of getting kicked out, I want to make a quality video so you know the best items to get here this year. So let's go in there, but not really film. Maybe do some B-roll stuff, then take all the items home in the kitchen so we're free, unencumbered, and no all those can follow us back to the kitchen and kick us out. Plus, this is the one over on diversity. This is my Trader Joe's. If I got kicked out of there, I'd feel weird going back there shopping all the time. So before we go in, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, all those good things. But right below the video, there's a little bell icon. You're going to want to enable all notifications because every single week we have three to four to seven videos, especially this month. And the live stream on Friday is a lot of fun and you don't want to miss out. So let's go shop and then go home. All right, family members, we're back in the kitchen. We got our Trader Joe's haul, and here's the deal. We actually didn't film this part of the video after the shop because we were tired, it took a long time. So it's two days later, and it's really, really good that we waited because this morning, a new product dropped at Trader Joe's, and Art picked it up on his way over to my place. And this is one of the most exciting things I've seen in the baking aisle in a long time, and it's definitely one of the best things for 2020. Check it out. This is Trader Joe's almond flour chocolate chip cookie baking mix. What's super excited about this, and I haven't looked at the ingredients too much, I'm gonna come around here, is let's analyze this. It's almond flour based. The sweetener is coconut sugar. We'll talk about that in a second. They use chocolate chips, which does have a little bit of cane sugar, but I'm not too surprised. And then a little bit of tapioca starch as a binder, coconut flour, and leavening and salt. Carbs, it's not low carb, right? It's got 12 total net carbs and one fiber per cookie and it makes 12 but wow you guys this is so exciting so this is so close to being a paleo chocolate chip cookie if they didn't use uh sugar cane sugar in the chocolate chips it would be but wow we oftentimes talk about the fact that uh sweets especially baked goods are pumped with wheat refined sugar and my biggest beef with uh, gluten-free products is they oftentimes use cheap or what I call all filler ingredients, right? Simple carbohydrates like white rice flour, tapioca starch, cassava flour, potato starch. And while that's very common in gluten-free products, there's no nutritional value. They're simple carbohydrates and they spike your blood sugars. This is using almond flour. So even if you're gluten-free, I would get this over the other mixes because this is made with almond flour, which isn't even a starch, and everything else as clean as can be. Wow. The next thing we have to do, Art said, is bake these up and try it. So we might do that later on, but bravo. Okay, we talked about this in another Trader Joe's video, but these dressings right here, check it out, Art. These are best in class, not only at Trader Joe's, but best in class pretty much almost anywhere else. And what I love about these is, see what it says right here? Cold pressed, right here, cold pressed. And look at the ingredients. I mean, these are literally insane, right? We have, in the Green Goddess, avocado, apple cider vinegar, real herbs. And what kind of oil are they using? A blend of olive and extra virgin. And in the turmeric almond butter one here, are they even using oil? Let me see. You see oil there, Art, or no? I do not. No, so there's no oil in this at all. So if you actually go and you look at the other uh, dressings in the refrigerator case or on the aisle, look at the ingredients and compare it to this. Night and day, right? Those use canola oil. I saw one next to it. I think it was the champagne pear vinaigrette. It used expeller pressed, and the one next to it used non-expeller pressed canola oil. That stuff's the most toxic, highly processed oil around. You go to stuff on the shelves, they're not really using extra virgin olive oil. They're using usually canola oil mixed in with sugar and vinegars. You guys, this is what you want to see. And let me just try the uh, almond butter. So I couldn't wait for that green goddess, and it was delicious. Oh, this is almond butter turmeric salad dressing. That's even better. Ooh, the ginger and the turmeric and the almond butter is delicious. They do make a carrot miso one, I believe, too. Read the ingredients. I believe that one has either it was a bad oil or natural flavors, but these two are definitely Bobby approved. They're fantastic. Okay, I need something to wash that flavor away, so I'm going to grab this. This is the organic coconut smoothie. We talked about this briefly last month in our uh, winter haul. This is a new product and this is amazing because it's a combination of organic coconut meat, 
like that white creamy meat inside with Trader Joe's new raw uh, coconut water, that pink stuff. They're competing now with Harmless Harvest. And the reason why we like that coconut water is that it's not high temperature, short time pasteurized. It's only high pressure pasteurized, which doesn't kill all of the living enzymes in the coconut water. And when you blend that water with this coconut meat, this is a power smoothie full of MCTs, lauric acid, good saturated fat, and mm, the flavor is crazy. It has no added sugars, only total of eight natural sugar. This is a power smoothie that is phenomenal. Next up is something I saw in the snack aisle, and it's these coconut sesame seed clusters. It kind of reminds me of those uh, coconut clusters I saw at Costco uh, last month that we talked about. And what I like about these is, let's read the ingredients together because I'm not as familiar with it. We have organic dried coconut. The sweetener, once again, is coconut sugar, white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, Himalayan pink salt, not processed salt. And we're talking about only three grams of added sugar for a half a cup serving. You guys, half a cup is a lot. And the coconut sugar, just like with the pancake mix, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, it's a low glycemic sugar. Oh, the cookie mix, thank you. That'd be amazing if they made an almond flour pancake mix. There's an idea for your Trader Joe's free of charge. Um, it's a low glycemic sweetener. It's paleo and it's delicious. And it has this caramely nutty flavor that I always talk about. It's such a bonus of using coconut sugar. We always have it in one of these tins back here. It's fantastic. The question is, how does this taste? Because I haven't had it yet. And I love that they're using Himalayan pink salt, which is a raw salt from the Pakistani mountain range. And it has 70 trace minerals that are actually good for you. And you know what? This is 100% paleo. Because they're using tapioca syrup too. That's great. Mmm. Crunchy. Very little on the sweetness. Full of little seeds popping in my teeth. That's awesome. So this is the kind of snack you want to eat when you want something crunchy and sweet. It's not really too bad for you. Very, very cool, right? Because everyone needs a little snack once in a while. Was super excited to see organic peanut powder. You know why I was so excited to see it? Because look at the ingredients on the back. There's two ingredients, right? There's peanut flour and salt. Now, don't be confused when you see the word flour. This is basically the same thing as PB, PB powder. But I had the hardest time at every grocery store finding a PB powder that didn't have added sugar. Every single one of them had added cane sugar, which is so unnecessary and the worst kind of sugar ever. They're not using it here. So that's bonus number one. Bonus number two is organic because peanuts are legumes that grow underground and you really want to get organic and it's hard to find that too at the grocery store without sweetener. <clears throat> Trader Joe's nailed it. Wow, this is so cool. You can use this in smoothies. Absolutely fantastic. I was so happy to see this. All right, let's talk about the deli meat selection at Trader Joe's, which is really good because this is a great product. It's organic oven roasted turkey breast. But when I look at turkey breast, I want to see organic, but I also want to see minimal ingredients. How's that for minimal ingredients, right? We have a whole video all about lunch meat. And the problem with most conventional lunch meat is that it's conventional turkey, which eats uh, GMO grain, but they have so many fillers in there in terms of phosphates, carrageenan, added preservatives. So you really want to get organic. And usually uh, Applegate is best in class. And they have the Applegate at Trader Joe's too, but it's not the organic one, meaning the turkey once again, or the ham has a GMO feed of corn and soy. This is actually cheaper than the organic uh, Applegate and the ingredients are clean and it's super, super tasty. That being said, if you're a Costco member, the organic turkey breast there is literally half the price of this. It's unbelievable. Um, I wasn't sure if they also had organic uh, ham. You really want to try to get organic ham, but this is fantastic. And if you go over to cheese, which is right next to it, this is one of my favorite cheese to get here. It's the New Zealand grass-fed cheddar cheese. And I really like that because we've talked about uh, cheese and how I feel about it. You really want to get organic cheese, ideally grass-fed. This doesn't say 100%, but it's from New Zealand, and my guess is, is it is, because New Zealand and Australia usually do 100% grass-fed, but grass-fed cheese has a higher nutritional profile than any other cheese, miles better than conventional, even better than organic. Uh, they have this, and I believe they have a 
I'm not sure if they have a block form. I think this might be the only one, but if you keep going to cheese, what's really cool is they have um, a goat cheese slices at uh, Trader Joe's. So goat's cheese is great. We've talked about this before. The fat globules are smaller, so it's easier for your tummy to digest, and it has less of the A1 casein and protein, which is fantastic. Then go over to the, uh, the vegan or dairy-free cheese options and check out what they have. Right, so if you pick up the uh, almond style mozzarella shreds, look at the third ingredient there. It's casein. Casein, a lot of people are allergic to that. That's the milk protein. So don't pick up those almond style mozzarella shreds thinking it's going to be 100% dairy free because it's not. It's pretty much lactose free, but it has the casein. And then if you look right next to it at the vegan mozzarella shreds, number one, I wouldn't get this because it's not that tasty and it has a weird texture, but look at the ingredients. The second ingredient there is canola oil. Do you guys see the word expeller press? No, not something you want to uh, eat. And also right next to that, if you're looking for another healthy snacking cheese there, uh, they have organic uh, string cheese. That is fantastic. So the string cheese and this cheese are by far the top best in class Bobby approved cheeses at uh, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has two, count them, two really high quality hot dog options. This is the Trader Joe's one. It's the organic grass-fed all beef hot dog. And they also have the Applegate one. The thing is, the Applegate one does say 100% grass-fed if you look in the store there. This one doesn't say 100% grass-fed. It is organic, so I gotta find out. But the reason why I love it is you look at the ingredients, it's clean, right? It's organic beef, water, onion, coriander. They're even using a little bit of uh, mace and nutmeg, super classy. That's what you wanna see. If you're gonna eat hot dogs, they have to be all beef, they have to be grass-fed and clean. A lot of times I talk about, you know, uh, lower quality hot dogs and it could be mixed with pork and what I call lips and buttholes and that's not the kind of stuff you want to eat. Um, so that's very exciting for Trader Joe's. Two options there but I got to find out if that's 100% grass fed. And then right below that is bacon and some people get excited when they look at like I'm looking at now the no sugar dry rub uncured bacon and if you turn over the ingredients there's a problem already because they're using sunflower oil. It's not expeller pressed. They also use a really interesting seasoning blend. They have fenugreek and mace on there with white pepper and nutmeg. I've never seen those spices actually used on bacon, which is super cool. But even though this is sugar-free paleo bacon, nowhere on the package for the bacon does it say certified humane. It's not pasture raised, obviously. That doesn't exist at the grocery store. So that means it's gonna be one of these factory farm pig pen uh, pigs that never go outside and only eat GMO grain. That's not something I would want. And then if you venture back into dairy land, a few more steps to your left is one of the best yogurts on the market and by far the best yogurt at uh, Trader Joe's. It's the organic whole milk yogurt cream on top. And it's, see where it says 100%? grass-fed, that's what, I wanna see that on the hot dogs, you guys. That is really important, and I love the fact that it's cream on top, because we talked about this before, when you have dairy, right? I actually wanna try this one. I don't eat too much dairy, but I've never tried this one. When you have high-quality dairy, and organic grass-fed dairy is about as high-quality as you want, as you can see, you want full fat. Why? What lives in the fat? It's the omega-3 fatty acids. It's other good stuff. You want that in your body. If you're getting low fat, you're skimping on the omega-3s. Don't skimp on dairy. Whether it's grass-fed milk, grass-fed yogurt, get full fat. But look at the texture of this art. See, when you eat dairy, that's what I want to see. It's really, really thick here. It's not Greek style, which would make it even better because you strain out some of the sugar and increase the protein, but this is till. Totally fine. That's good. Wow, it's so rich and fatty. All right, let's talk about the hummus next. They have a big wall of hummus at Trader Joe's, and we did a hummus video actually, I think last week it's a Flav City short. It's really tough because when it comes to hummus, 90% of the brands on the market use low quality oil. When I see hummus, I want to see extra virgin olive oil. And this is by far the best and pretty much only high quality hummus at uh, Trader Joe's. It's the spicy avocado oil hummus. And check out the ingredients there. What kind of oil are they using? Extra virgin olive oil, which is what you wanna see. But look at the other ones they have on the shelves there. The Mediterranean style hummus in that big tub, turn it around. What kind of oil are they using? 
It's canola oil. Do you see the word expeller pressed anywhere? No. Now pick up another one. What do you see? Canola oil. It's not expeller pressed and it has a lot more ingredients than the one here. I did notice before I walked away from that section, they have this uh, jalapeno almond dip and that's got best in class ingredients too. Almonds, water, jalapenos, and extra virgin olive oil. We talked about this before. Trader Joe's is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Some products they use best in class oils like this, but then for another hummus, right next to it, they use what I consider the worst quality oil ever, canola oil. They say it's non-GMO at, at Trader Joe's. I think if something has corn, like we're gonna talk about this, yeah, it's, it's non-GMO at Trader Joe's. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Do you think the oils, like a canola blend or a soybean oil blend, is gonna be non-GMO at Trader Joe's too? I just have a hard time believing that. Plus, it's not expelled or pressed. So even if it was non-GMO, it's highly processed and highly refined at high heat that you alter the fatty acid and your body can't properly process that. Not something you wanna put in your body. But speaking of, I haven't tried this one either. This is, I gotta try this hummus here. Mmm, that's delicious. Ooh, it's spicy too. <clears throat> oh my God. My spice tolerance is pretty low. If you're like me, that might be a little <clears throat> aggressive for you, right? Now actually something to tame my palate is this. It's the flavored seltzer water, which is so interesting to me because you guys know how I feel about flavored waters, right? All flavored waters, 99.9 .9 of them on the market, use natural flavors. Search my video about natural flavors after this one. Natural flavors are another word for artificial flavors. They're bogus. But this blood orange and orange juice, look at the ingredients. They're actually using blood orange juice, which is unbelievable. So this and Spindrift are the only, which they have at uh, Trader Joe's too, are the only flavored sparkling waters on the market that don't use natural flavors. And I love Spindrift. And this is good too. Wow, it's organic too. I don't think Spindrift is organic. That's impressive. There is one of the flavors though, let me see. That isn't uh, good. It's the, uh, the cranberry lime juice. If you turn that one around, they use natural lime flavor, which I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't eat or drink. But it's cheaper, the 75 cents for the Trader Joe's one versus 88 cents for Spindrift. So how cool is this? Actually, a fan told me about this on Instagram stories. So now there's another one on the market in addition to Spindrift that is Bobby approved because which is really good. Because I wouldn't drink stuff like LaCroix that has natural flavors. All right, let's go to the middle aisle that has a ton of pantry staples. And just talk about this popcorn. This popcorn is fantastic. It's the Trader Joe's heirloom popcorn. And what's so great about it is, look at the ingredients here. It's heirloom popcorn popped in avocado oil with Himalayan pink salt. This actually reminds me of, oh, I have it, hold on, this other popcorn. We talked about this at the other store, the lesser evil popcorn with the Buddha. It's pretty much the same. This isn't organic, but it is non-GMO. This is popped in uh, coconut oil. This is popped in avocado oil, which actually could be better for some people because some people don't like the flavor of coconut oil and this avocado oil has no flavor. The cool thing is, is this word right here. So heirloom popcorn is actually a seed that is not only ancient, hence the word heirloom, it also doesn't get stuck in your teeth, which is really cool. And it's easier for your body to digest. And I, now I have to try this. Is it, let's see. I don't see a tear. Come on, when you're making a bag of popcorn, it's gotta have a, an easy open here. All right, so you have that nice benefit. It would be even better if it was organic, because even though it's non-GMO, it does get sprayed with a few more pesticides than a organic one would, but this is really nice. There are other versions at um, Trader Joe's too. Oh, Desi and Rose are home. Hey girls, <laughs> I'm gonna grab Rose in a second. Um, the other best in class popcorn is the uh, organic extra virgin olive oil popcorn. It's popped in EVOO and just has salt, but be careful because the other ones are not quite as clean. So if you look at uh, 
the popcorn with herbs and spices in the green bag, it's popped in expeller pressed veggie oil. So at least it's expeller pressed, but it's not uh, a high quality oil, nowhere near the quality of avocado oil. So, mwah. oh, Art's filming. She needs hair and makeup. All right, I've got Rose on my tush baby here. This thing's amazing. Uh, in the same aisle is a new item. It's called furikake. It's a Japanese seasoning mix. And it's got some really interesting ingredients on there. Take a look. Sesame seeds, nori, kelp. And it's kind of like something you would sprinkle over a stir fry. It adds a little bit of crunch, but a little bit of flavor too in the form of that uh, kelp and the uh, nori. So it's kind of fun. If you like everything but the bagel seasoning, this is the Japanese equivalent of that right here. And then right across from that or right next to it, it's just a pantry staple, right? The coconut milk and the coconut cream at Trader Joe's are always in my pantry because I talk about prices and this is one of the lowest prices on the market, but I also talk about ingredients. And if you look at the ingredient on the coconut milk, there's no emulsifiers. This brand and Thrive Market and Native Forest are the only ones that don't have guar and you don't want emulsifiers when you can avoid them. The native forest is way expensive. This is a buck 99, which is amazing. And this is 2.99 for the coconut cream. I always have that in my pantry. I love prunes. I usually have a couple a day in my uh, quinoa breakfast bowl. The thing is, this is the most important thing. Above the pitted prunes, it says non-sorbate. So that's really important because too many sorbates in your body can actually disturb your tummy and your tummy bacteria. The thing is, I love buying these at Trader Joe's because if you look at the store, they have two kinds of prunes. They have the sorbate and the non-sorbate. And they actually have a Q&A fact sheet right there what sorbates are. And then if you look, they also have non-sorbate apricots. The organic Tur Turkish apricots are the ones I always have in my pantry, hence this half-eaten bag here, right? It's, these are great, but notice how they're kind of brown and ugly. That's because they don't have the potassium sorbate on there. If you look next to it and look at the other apricots, they're orange and beautiful. That's another thing that potassium sorbate does. It preserves it to make it beautiful to the eye. You don't want that, right? You want the non-sorbate fruit. It's hard to find that at a lot of other grocery stores, but kudos to Trader Joe's for actually having some options there because I would not eat sorbates if I were you. Rose is crazy hungry. So you guys, there is my ultimate 2020 haul. It's a ton of products. It's a ton of information, but I'm glad we did this video at home. There's no way I could have talked in depth about all these uh, items at the store. The Waldos would have got Art and I in a heartbeat and kicked, it up, kicked this out. So let us know what other videos you want to see. A lot of people have been asking for Sam's Club. Art and I are going to go there and check it out. We were there last year and we just didn't love it, but we'll give it another try. So in the meantime, Art, Desi, Rose, myself, we'll see you very soon. She's gonna crush her lunch, but we say unto you like we always do, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace, you guys. All right, let's have your first ever squad, Della kind of squash, my love.